If you're going under this handoff, Wembenyama has got to get up and jam the screener. Use your body, show your hands so you can show a little bit. So Jalen Williams isn't just pulling right off this. And then Vassell goes under. You could also hedge this handoff right here, the sidelines right here. You'd have backside help with Julian jump on it. You'd be fine. But open three. Blake Wesley is very eager to help here. So you got to be communicating if you're Blake Wesley. So Champagne knows to force Jay Gildas Alexander to where you're helping. But okay, you're letting Jay Gildas Alexander go away from the help. Now uh, Jeremy Sohan's coming to help. Blake Wesley, you got to stay home. Like, I, you can't just leave the weak side of the floor to, to triple the ball. You cannot go under this screen if you're Sohan. There's 20 steps between Gildas Alexander and the screener. Like, go over. Or we can switch, but you're going under. Now you're going 50 steps behind Jay Gildas Alexander. So now Jay Gildas Alexander's in the paint. When Benyama steps up, what's Vassell doing? Like you're going to have to rotate out to Holmgren. And then Wesley's going to go to the corner and when Benyama comes down to Giddy. And yeah. Do the Spurs work on transition defense ever? Julian Champagne, he's got to take the ball. Sohan's going to Chet Holmgren. Like where's Champagne going? And now where's Sohan going? Why is Sohan not up ready to guard? So, Champagne's in the middle of nowhere. You're not ready to guard Holmgren. Pump fake in the lane. Transition defense 101. Something the Spurs clearly do not go over. Vassell, you're not worried about the ball across half court. Just get back. Just get back to Giddy. Zach Collins, somebody else can take the ball. But you're worrying about the ball right now. And... You have a lot more options on this pick and pop if you hedge. If I hedge this screen, pushing Case and Wallace out, now Sohan can just stunt in the backside and recover to give Collins time to go back. If you're running drop coverage, there's one option. Sohan has to rotate to Jalen Williams, and then Zach Collins will come back to the weak side of the floor. He's not going to be able to obviously. Again, in transition, I'm getting to bodies. Zach Collins, maybe you're not guarding Kenrich Williams in the half court. You are here. I get to the nearest body. I mean, you're standing guarding air. So, pfft, everything's messed up. Malachi Branham, you're switching. For, just let the screen happen. That, just be up, be ready to guard. But you're shoving the screener. You got your hands on the screener. Shea Gildas Alexander is going to very easily turn the corner on you and get downhill. This is just pathetic. And the entire city of San Antonio is held hostage by Greg Popovich. This is a disaster. The, hedge the screen. I'm not giving up wide open jumpers. I have backs that up right there for Holmgren's role. Right there. The, I, I can't. This is disrespectful to everything I've ever been taught. So again, you're in drop coverage. Instead of icing where there's backside help for Chet Holmgren right here, you're going to run your idiot drop coverage. So McDermott's coming all the way to the free throw line. I have no choice. I Vassell is going to have to rotate to the wing and then so on to the corner. McDermott's going to have to come down. How is McDermott coming to the end of the paint and getting out? That's unbelievable. Popovich holds this entire universe hostage. Everything wrong with society. If you're Jeremy Sohan, first of all, you're not even paying attention to the ball. Guard the ball. You're looking for a screen. Get up and guard. If the screen gets set, you'll switch it. McDermott and Sohan switch it every time. But you're looking for a screen and backpedaling. And now what's the switch? McDermott's switching. Sohan isn't. Going into a game, every time they're in a screen, you switch. Because now you got one person switching and one not. Malachi Branham is fine right here. If he just gets back and slides his feet. Instead, look, you're doing okay. Boom. Now you gamble. Now you're off balance right here. So where's McDermott? He's got to be up the line. Branham's beat. You should be rotating the ball. It's Gilgis Alexander. I can stunt and recover, or we can play the rotating game. Where Zach Collins then comes up to the wing. Uh, Jeremy Sohan goes to the corner. McDermott would end up down. But there's no help, and that was just pathetic. Transition, Malachi Branham, you've got to sprint back and be in help. But Devin Vassell, look at your feet. You're making sure Gilgis Alexander goes where there's absolutely no help, as opposed to the middle of the floor, where there is. Terrible. Popovich. First of all, Jeremy Sohan's again looking for a screen and backing into a screen as opposed to getting up and guarding. Now, he's going to get screened here. 
So you got to do something. I, of course, would ice the screen, keep Shea Gilgis Alexander to the sidelines. No place for Holmgren to roll to. What do the Spurs do? Not so on get screen, you do nothing. Nothing. And Wesley's going to be late getting up to Jalen Williams. You're walking up to Jalen Williams. So now you're coming uphill as Jalen Williams is going downhill. You're not going to be able to stay in front. Now, of course, you should be closing to the middle of the floor because that's where your help is. But Shambani's going to come help you. He should already be there right now. But I got to show my hands if I want that help to get there. You're not showing your hands. Shambani's coming all the way over. It doesn't matter. He can step off you. It's another awful switch by the Spurs. Champagne, what do you do? Get up, level to the screen, or ready to guard. You'd have help in the middle of the floor if you want it with Vassell switching underneath. But where are you? you got your hands on the screen, and your momentum's going towards the screen. Easily able to turn the corner, Jalen Williams. This is coaching. This is Devin Vassell. Away from the ball. I'm in a defensive stance. My pointers are out. I'm seeing ball. I'm seeing man. I'm ready to guard. Look, look at Vassell's feet. Not even close. Not in a defensive stance. Your back is going to be to the sideline and your beat back door easily. Again with these screens. First of all, Keldon Johnson, just guard. Malachi Branham's going to switch if the screen gets set. But again, you're not in a defensive stance. You're not ready to slide your feet. You're just backpedaling, anticipating a screen right here. Okay? So now you're leaning towards the screen that you'd be switching, and now it's just blow by. Spurs are in a zone. First of all, Seti Osman's taking Isaiah Joe. Kelton Johnson switching on to Shea Gilders Alexander. Branham's got to get to the wing. You can't guard no one. Jalen Williams is there. Like, so you're just going to have Seti Osman and Malachi Branham stuck at two Spurs guarding one. Now, the help is in the middle of the floor right here. But if you're not forcing him to the middle of the floor, Devin Vassell's coming and help. That does not mean Seti Osman can just go randomly leave and go triple. This is unbelievable. This is coaching. This is great. This is everything wrong with society. This is a joke. Malachi Branham goes to double. Zach Collins has to rotate to Isaiah Joe. Has to. And now that and Devin Vassell's coming up to Jalen Williams. And now that the dribble's picked up, Seti Osman's coming to Lugan Stort, and Malachi Branham's coming to the block. But I mean, Zach Collins never rotates. And Malachi Branham's now just doubling for no reason. It's another one of these screens. Blake Wesley, just guard. Feet set, defensive stance. The screen comes, you'll switch. But you're going to have a terrible gamble here. So now you're off balance before the screen gets set. So now Branham's got to go. Like, you got to switch. Blake Wesley just got cooked. That's the switch right now. And there is no switch. Or not even close to being in time. It's another terrible Spurs double. Keldon Johnson. Get to Kenrich Williams. Blake Wesley's going to double. Collins, you got to get to Isaiah Joe. So when Blake Wesley goes to double, Branham would rotate to Jalen Williams. Zach Collins would be coming up on Lugans Dort. And now that that dribble's picked up, now Keldon Johnson can come to the corner right here, and Blake Wesley should be leaving to get to Kenrich Williams. But no one's rotating. Blake Wesley's still doubling for no reason. And now you get lucky. They miss a layup because Zach Collins box out. Nope. So Doug McDermott's playing the gaps. Your feet have got to be set in a defensive stance. I'm stunting and recovering. Look at your feet. You're tiptoeing all over the place towards the ball. You're not going to be able to get out to Misich. So right here, Doug McDermott's beat because of how he was guarding away from the ball. So the help's coming from the wing. Victor Wembanyama can't leave. It's got to stay with Holmgren. He can't leave and just go try and block a shot. The help was already there. You're helping now for no reason.